Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. So it's somewhere around 4.30, actually it is 4.35, that tells the real time. And today is Tuesday, February 3rd. I'm down in the uh, basement, you can see I got the pellet stove on, the reflection, but look at the temperature, the humidity. And here sits the pellet stove. This thing was a um, a bear to get fired up um, this morning. Um, there's a lot of baffles in the stove, so um, and if you look at it, it kind of does a kind of a strange burning thing um, because it kind of uh, it's a gas. It it heats the wood and then kind of burns the gas off of it. So I like get plenty of heat out of the stove but you can see I mean it's cold right even right at the stove it's not all that warm so the nice thing is I get like no creosol or anything but um, it's hard to get the the stove to uh, to exhaust when I first fire it up so I have um, the old propane flamethrower here and what I do is I heat the pipe with the flamethrower first and then I run the flamethrower um, into the stove so like I'm burning propane which doesn't smell like smoke obviously um, and use that to get the whole thing preheated once I get it preheated and running she's uh, she's a good pretty good I mean puts a lot of heat down here anyway the purpose of this video is not to talk about my my wood stove. For those of you who have them, you know how to use them. And for those of you who don't have them, you probably don't want to deal with the dust and the smoke and the firewood and the annoyance of the whole thing. So, um, there's that. Anyway, what am I up to today? Um, you guys know I built that portable CDI box. Um, been very happy with it. Um, but I'm trying to kind of up my game a little bit, and I'm also trying to learn about the other type of wiring harnesses out there, the other t type of CDI boxes out there, and just, you know, this knowledge doesn't go bad. You can buy a bike reasonable that has an electrical problem, and if you can fix it, now you own a bike reasonable, especially if you can get the best parts for the price. Anyway, this is um, this was a um, a deal from uh, eBay, and what I got is I ordered a couple of these wiring harnesses. Right, they go to a pit bike. So, and what you gotta love about these wiring harnesses is they got the plug that plugs into the CDI, which is the most important thing in the world. The other thing you gotta love is they're only. Five dollars and ninety cents each. I bought two of them, which was eleven eighty, and that was including the shipping. So for six bucks each, you get these wiring harnesses. The other nice thing is there's like multiple grounds, so you can make good use of all those green wires. And you'll see why I'm talking about those in a minute, and the other wires. So wiring harness when you're building a portable. CDI unit wiring harness very very important no wiring harness you know then you're trying to solder wires in that little connector there or you cut the connector off and you start soldering wires very difficult second thing this is a um, 12 volt um, CDI unit and I just typed 12 volt CDI unit uh, 12 volt ATV CDI unit and this popped up on eBay and you see the red wire sticking off of it that's kind of a dead giveaway that it's like 12 volt right so the end of red wire for anybody who uh, has any electrical training is for the positive 12 volts also came with that little piece of paper that I can't read now and if you look in there You'll see it's got five connectors and a blank in the center. And if you look at here, at this guy, right, 
five connectors with a blank in the center. And if you look at our little map on how these things work, right? And if you're looking, this is looking at the back of the plug, actually looking at the CDI unit, right? See the no connect, blank in the center, right where that is. And then you just go around, right? Blue, yellow goes to the pulser. Green is ground. Black is a kill switch. Black, red is for the stator, which we're not using because it's 12 volts. And then you have black, yellow is for the um, ignition coil. So, bought this. It was six bucks. Bought this. I think it was around 15 bucks. Maybe less. I think I bought these from China and they were cheaper if you get them from China. Maybe they were 10.95. So, how much money you got tied up here for a portable CDI unit? For, for a 12 volt CDI unit? Like nothing. Anyway, so after, by the way, comes in a cool box, the CDI unit. And it even tells you how to hook it up in the back, but I can't read any of this. I don't know, maybe some of you folks could read it. I can't. It's never very good at languages. So, anyway, I hooked it up just as described. And obviously didn't hook up the kill switch because I got no bike to kill. And, right, green to ground. And ground in the, uh, ground in the coil. Ground in the spark plug, right? You got to make sure you hook your grounds up all over the place, right? The blue and white to the blue and white ground to the other side of the um, pulser right spark plug once again red wire and really the only thing I'm doing wrong here is I'm not using a fuse which kind of makes me more of a moron than anything else because if you don't use a fuse and something stupid happens you blow up I don't know 10 12 15 bucks worth of CDI or you melt wires and set the house on fire so one should really have a fuse in this circuit but i'm only setting this up as a temporary thing uh, this is the first time i've messed with this version of a 12 volt cdi obviously i've messed with other versions um and this guy given its size and all has and the ad it has a built-in advance an electronic advance so if you use it on a 200S that has mechanical advance, right, that means when the engine starts up and you get to 1500 RPM or so, this starts to advance, and that starts to advance, and you start actually hearing it like pre-ignition, almost a pinging in the head. You can almost hear it breaking up, right? So, just... Uh, so, if you decide to use it in a 200S, you should really kind of fix this in position instead of using the springs they got right on here. Right, you guys could see them, I think. Right. You should, um, you should, um, quite honestly, I would bend these tabs and lock it into position. Right. Then you can bend them back. Or you can put a little tack weld on it, or you can take those springs out and wire it. I mean, I don't know. To me, I'd make it permanent. I'd probably weld it. Or bend the hell out of those tabs. So, anyway, got the whole thing hooked up. Let me show you what the spark looks like. It puts out a nice, bright spark. Oops. I'm the one-handed man here, sorry. Look at that spark on there. Once again, I'm not... not doing very good with the, uh... Manipulating things with one hand, I apologize. So, anyway.
anyway so I proved the concept has worked um, my portable CDI unit the one I made with the box uh, pluses it's completely portable I can put it on any bike minuses it falls off the bike because there's no good way of mounting it this um, CDI unit and I'm not sure if I'm going to use it on this guy on the golf cart or if I'm going to set up some kind of 12 volt source so that I could um, put it on the 200x one or the other so I'm, I'm kind of going going back and forth um, and what I also ordered you guys know William Statton I'm always talking about his videos if you buy the high performance CDI box when you turn those on you can actually hear them whistle wind that's the oscillator spinning up in them um, those things put out a really nice spark anyway I ordered one of those and a matching coil and it came with an air filter and I think all three of them was like 35 bucks so I have no experience with those, but he has really good luck with them. So I want to, I want to try that out on, on one of the bikes. So once again, I'm not sure where this, this one's, which bike this is going with and which bike that's going with. Probably somewhat depends on the weather for when I could get outside and get some stuff done again. I'm, uh, I'm really like, I got like two foot on the ground in front of the garage and all. So if, it's not loose. I'm having trouble getting to it. So, anyway, um, just wanted to show you the concept. Um, wiring diagram. If you're looking at the back of the CDI unit, right? And I got the no connection up. And that's also where the little clip is, where the little notch is. The little, that's where this thing is, right? So no connection up. Then if you go around to the um, to the right of the no connection is the ignition coil. It's this wire right here. To the left of no connection goes to the blue wire on the pulser. Right there. Right here's your pulser. And there's the blue wire to it. The back left corner is green, which is ground. Then you have a no connect. Then you have another no connect. So basically you're only using three of the wires. And the red wire you feed out to your power supply. And the green wire from ground you also feed to the negative on your power supply. Um, make sure you ground your coil. And a good ground to your coil. Make sure you hook up the ground to your pulser right make sure you hook up the ground to your spark plug right ground 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 don't forget your ground you want to get screwed forget a ground then you won't be able to figure out why it won't start um i went with the lift ram right you can see that right there i went with that wiring harness because it's much easier to plug in than to try try to start soldering and slipping clips on and all that kind of stuff don't be afraid to take apart your wiring harness right I mean you really only need the jack but don't be afraid to take things apart that way you can make use of all the nice grounds here because they're all spliced in for you all right folks questions hit me up thank you for watching and commenting and subscribing remember to keep your feet down keep your head up don't let the snow annoy you as much as the snow has been bothering me Guys, remember to enjoy all your days. You don't know how many you're going to get, so make sure you enjoy them. Once again, thanks for watching and commenting and subscribing. Bye now.